Okay, here we go again. I was at the end of my cup of tea, and so I, <laughs> I cut the video off, and they were like, hey, you were going to do the fairy cards for the... <laughs> fairy cards for the um <laughs> for the Scorpio moon I was like oh yeah okay but then look the same thing came out anyways it was the strength card came out in the first part and then the second part was all about the in moving with the inspiration all right so that was part one and part two and then so let's get another card okay and then the warrior fae okay so all right so it's like persevering and it was all about like color even the vegetables and the fruits it was like a rainbow so it's like filling in the color so it's like telling your new story of joy right dragonfly and well oh, there's like a heart here okay and that was coming up too, a real supportive air energy and I love that okay All right, so this this strength is dealing with that fox energy. Okay. All right, now this is interesting. Okay. Now for someone, you uh, are, that's going back to that English thing. Okay, there's a hunter energy here, and they hunt foxes. Okay. Now, if you understand, uh, maybe fox is your totem. All right, but if you understand that kind of energy, um, I feel like there's something that you can uh, bring in harvest by, I'm getting August or the autumn, okay. All right, it's like, you know what it's like? It's like what, whoever this kind of fox shadow energy is like not showing who they really are hmm they really do have a loving playful side but it really doesn't seem like it it feels like snake <laughs> in the grass okay But I feel like you're going to overcome the warrior fae. I feel like that's you. And that is like non-physical energy supporting you to help you bring in uh, this kind of uh, abundant energy. Okay. Inspiration. See how colorful that is? Okay, so it's like and youthful energy is here. So it's like... Oh, hummingbird. Okay, so where things have seemed fast, I feel like it's gonna um, go faster, okay. And for some of you, that's like time feeling like time was going faster, so you might wanna go back and look at the other videos. Okay, now let's see. Releasing what no longer serves you, right? Okay and metamorphosis the change so that was like feeling like you needed to go to a past life connection now that could have been i was saying uh, in another reading the retrogrades and these other little uh planets like makemake and whatever the hyamea or whatever that was okay so that could be like feeling like you need to go back and repair uh, the bridges that were burned okay for some of you Okay, so there's that energy, but there is a transformation happening. Okay, look at this one's crown. It looks like a gourd. So birds, connecting with birds in nature might be a way. All right, now. All right, so the portal. Yeah, see, that's what I feel like. It's like there is this non-physical energy that is like playful and trying to get you to move in that energy. Okay, so if you feel tired, right, and um, that's when you could get cranky. So they're suggesting uh, take cat naps if you need it. Um, oh, now this is coming up. Now for someone, okay, so there was a suggestion to go to sleep earlier, and just as soon as I said that, um, an article came out about 
um, people who sleep more um, get uh, Alzheimer's or some kind of crazy story. <laughs> anyway, it, it's valid, right? But I feel like what that meant was follow your own body and your own guidance system. Okay, so, so for example, go to sleep one hour earlier and see how your body feels the next day. Does it feel better? And if it does, I would try to do that. And the other thing I would try is not watching TV in the bedroom. Okay, so that I would take the TV out. Okay, but use your own judgment there. All right, the other thing I would get is... Um, Yeah, so for example, if you don't, if you're the kind of person that can't sleep, right, in the day, then you might try, set up a little corner where you could do some chair yoga or restorative yoga just for like 20 minutes a day, and that could give you that spunk you need, right, to get you through the day. Okay. All right, so I'm getting that. So, but anyway, there is this non-physical energy that's real playful. For some of you, that's a guide, and for some of you, that I feel like is mother. Okay, that's crossed over. All right. Now, so they want you to be less cranky, whoever this is. Okay. <laughs> Spilling the beans. <laughs> okay, the wounded healer. Okay. So now, going to see your uh, charts and finding out where your Chiron placements can open up some doors here. Now, the other thing I'm getting is if you have a partner, um, you might try renewing your vows. That might spark up some things. All right. Now this one, oh, that reminds me. Um, there is a difference between an elf and a fairy. <laughs> Okay, so, um, but whether it is an elf or a fairy, I feel like if you get into that kind of magical energy, there's lots of feathers here, so I feel like, um, okay, now for some of you, I'm getting uh, moon energy, so that could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, another one. And um, for, for some of you, it's an air sign energy. Okay. And for some of you, it might be a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Okay. Now, I feel like there would be more understanding if you go see your Chiron placement in your chart. All right. Now, with that said, um, If there's some sort of energy that you've been going back and forth with, I feel like there's it's calling for healing. All right. Now, and that is possible. And that was coming up in the other reading. Okay, one and two. All right, so let's see. Yeah, you got two, tra metamorphosis and transformation. And here is Grace, the swan. Okay. All right. Now, I feel like what this is saying is whoever your opposition energy is, they are going through a transformation too. All right. So be patient with that, right? That's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. So let's get, since there's transformation in grace here, let's get, um, let's get... Hmm. Oh, here it is. All right, so let's see. Identify the one thing you were most grateful for today. Ooh, move in and appreciation. Practice patience. <laughs> okay. Strive to improve yourself every day. Okay, so. Be grateful for what you have. Ooh, that's two appreciation things. Okay. 
Have compassion for people who are suffering. Okay, so that's a big one, even if it's for yourself, right? Okay, so I feel like that's a big one. Oh, hi. Oh, okay, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to uh, close it there. Okay. Okay, she's she's got to go. Okay. Thank you.